Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you about BJU Press English, which is their writing and grammar curriculum. I'm going to be letting you know what my thoughts are after using this curriculum this year and let you know if I plan on using it again next year. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Janelle Knutson. I'm a homeschooling mom to seven children that range in age from adult down to toddler. And this year is the first year that I have ever used BJU Press English. So let me share with you what we actually used. With my third grader, I used English 2. English 2 is meant for second grade. I thought my third grader would do better in the second grade one. So we've been going through English 2. I've also been using English 5 with my fifth grader and I've been using English 6 with my seventh grader. And I'll explain in a little bit why I put her down into English 6 instead of doing English 7. I also have English 7 here with me. I've looked through it and it includes not only the writing and grammar, which is now one semester, but it includes another semester of literature as well. So let's go ahead and jump in and let me share with you some of my thoughts about English from BJU Press. Before we jump in to my thoughts and my review on it, I do want to just give this one disclaimer. I bought all of this curriculum, all of the English curriculum from BJU Press with my own money. And we are using it through the distance learning program so my kids are getting the instruction from the videos. I am, however, an affiliate with BJU. And I, so I wanna let you know that if you click on my links, I will receive a commission if you purchase through those links. Now, I became an affiliate after I purchased English and a whole bunch of other subjects from BJU because I really was loving the curriculum so much, but that doesn't change my honest review. I'm gonna let you know what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and whether we're not or not we're gonna use it next year, but did wanna give you that little disclaimer. I think it'll be helpful for me to kind of explain how the uh, BJU Press English is set up. So through sixth grade, their English is set up where it is grammar and composition or grammar and writing, whatever you want to call it, writing, composition, same thing, but it's writing and grammar together. And what they do, it, and it's actually something that I'm really enjoying, is they rotate between grammar and writing. So they're going to introduce a grammar concept in one chapter, and then usually, not always, but usually they incorporate that grammar concept into the writing lesson in the next chapter. So I really found that um, helpful for some of my kids who don't really like writing or grammar instead of just doing grammar day after day after day after day, week after week, and doing writing, they get to kind of jump back and forth. So they get to do grammar and about the time they're sick of grammar, they can move into writing. About the time they're like, I'm done with writing, move back to grammar. So I do like how that is set up. One of the other things that I'm really enjoying about BJU Press English up through sixth grade is that it is filling in some of the gaps that existed in my kids' education when we were using other curriculum. The other curriculum that we used was wonderful. It was fabulous. It was great. We loved it. I'd probably go back and use it again instead of using BJU Press English. But using the BJU Press English this year has just given me a little bit more peace of mind that there are some gaps that they had and now they have been filled. Gaps that I didn't even think about. For example, they taught in English, um, I'm not sure which one, I wanna say fifth grade English for sure, they're learning how to take notes, which is a really important skill. And it is something that I've tried to teach my kids, but I don't always know the best way to you know, convey to them how to get the, you know, the main idea out of a paragraph and all that kind of stuff. So it's great that they're learning that in this English curriculum. Also just things like using the thesaurus, using the library, how the library system works. You know, these are things that yes, would be really easy for me in the sense to incorporate into our homeschool in the sense that, yeah, if I had a long list of everything my kids needed to know and I had a ton of time and I didn't have little ones and I didn't have to get dinner on the table and I didn't have to do laundry, you get the idea. If I just, you know, all I did was homeschool all day, sure, I could incorporate 
all of those different things into our English and grammar curriculum that we were using or writing a grammar curriculum that we might be using at that time. But boy, to know that it's just all in here and I don't have to worry about it is just, it's just nice. It's nice to know. With that said, would my kids, would I be doing my kids a disservice? Would they turn out horrible if we never did those things? No, they'd be just fine. Actually, I didn't really do those things with my oldest and she's in college and she's doing great. So just an encouragement that your kids are all gonna have gaps in their education. Nobody can learn everything. Even if we were given all of the information, we can't possibly retain all of it. But on the flip side, I do wanna to try to give my kids the best education possible. And so while I love other writing and grammar curriculum, and um, I will probably use those other writing and grammar curriculums in years to come, and I'm thankful that we used them in the past, it has been really nice to know that BJU English this year is filling in some of those gaps for my kids. So I really like that about it. Now, you're probably wondering why did I put my seventh grader in English six. Here's why. English six is the last in their series of English um, curriculum that is one year. So English six on down is one year of English curriculum and it goes back and forth, like I said, between grammar and writing, grammar and writing, it takes the whole year. Now, seventh grade English this part is only one semester. And instead of going back between grammar and writing, grammar and writing, every single lesson is a grammar lesson. And at the end of the lesson, they have a little thing, a little writing assignment. And then the second semester is literature. So my daughter's actually doing the full year of English six, and then we're doing this one semester uh, literature course for seventh grade. Now, why didn't I go with this? First of all, what I found in their English seven and when I looked at their eighth grade English on up through high school, um, keep in mind I have not used them, but I've looked at them. When I look at them, I find two things. One, they're really heavy on grammar and there isn't a whole lot of writing time. It's mostly grammar. For my daughter that's in seventh grade right now, we've done a lot of grammar. She's pretty good at grammar. I mean, she doesn't love it, but I figure writing is more important in my mind, just my personal opinion, writing is more important than grammar. And obviously to do good writing, you need to know grammar. But I really felt like in this last half of her education here at home, I really wanted her to get a really good foundation in writing. And I felt like we we're doing pretty good in grammar. And so the fact that this was mostly grammar didn't really fit my needs. The second reason that we didn't use this is this. In the English series, so, you know, the second grade one that I'm using with my third grader, the fifth grade one with my fifth grader, this one with my seventh grader, it gives writing instruction. I feel like it teaches them how to write. It doesn't just say, write a poem, write an essay, uh, write a report. It's giving them the steps to do that. What I feel like in the seventh grade one here, and from looking through, you know, eighth grade and on, I feel like they're assuming that the student already knows how to write, that they probably, they're probably assuming that the student's already done, you know, you know, all the way elementary BJU English and they've got a good foundation in writing, they don't need to learn how to write, so they're just having them practice their writing skills. Here's the thing, my seventh grader doesn't know real well, really well how to write. If I said, write an essay, write a poem, write a research paper, she doesn't know where to start. So I felt like she needed the instruction. So we went with English six so that she could get some grammar, but she could also get a lot of writing in and she could get the writing instruction. So that's why we went with English six instead of um, the seventh grade English curriculum. 
That leads us to the question, am I going to use BJU English again next year? Yes and no. <laughs> Let me explain. Right now I have a first grader and for kind of language English type stuff, she's using the Spell to Write and Read program and we are using a Becca Language 1. And I really like a Becca Language 1. I've used it several times with some of my kids in the past. It's working well for her. So when my current preschooler gets to first grade in a couple years, I will probably use a Becca Language 1. I use the workbook. I don't get the teacher manual or anything like that. I don't do all the, have them do all the pages. I just do the things that I think would be helpful for them in learning just how to write and some basic grammar. So my first grader, she's using a Becca language right now. Next year, I am going to have her do English 2. I think she will be ready to do English 2. And I will probably have her use it uh, via the distance learning program because it just saves my time and my sanity that my kids are getting the instruction from somebody else and I don't have to teach everything, especially with little ones underfoot, can be quite a challenge to teach four soon to be five kids and then have a little one. So she will be doing English too. I'm pretty certain that I'm going to have her do English too and she'll probably do it via the distance learning. My third grader right now is using English too. I will, and he's doing really well. He is, he's a boy. He doesn't really sit still for very long. He doesn't like writing. He doesn't like grammar. He's doing really well with this. And actually this is one of the first things he does because he's like, oh mom, this is so easy. So I think I'd probably since he's in third grade next year, he'll be in fourth grade. I'll probably just move him up to English four. I felt like this was a good introduction to writing and grammar for him. He'll probably re be ready for the fourth grade one when he's in fourth grade. So I plan on using that again with him. My current fifth grader that is using English five, I will move her most likely into English six next year. Now here's why I say most likely. I still have, this is February, I still have through the summer that we're gonna be homeschooling. So I still have some time to make my final curriculum decisions, but I've really been liking the BJU Press English up to sixth grade. So I'm probably gonna continue using that, especially because the distance learning programs are working so well for us. With that said, I'm gonna jump into what I'm gonna do with my seventh grader in a minute, but I'm gonna take a little rabbit trail here because I realized I didn't share with you about the difference between using this on your own and teaching it to your kids and using it with the distance learning videos. Would I use these English um, curriculum on my own if I wasn't gonna do the distance learning program? Absolutely. Um, I think that it's easy to teach. When I look, I mean, when you open up to a lesson, it, I mean, it literally has the lesson right there for your student. So your student could, and I know several moms who use this, they have their kids read the lesson um, themselves and then they kind of help them to make sure they understood it here and then on the back side they have them work independently and those moms aren't doing a whole lot of teaching unless their student is really struggling with something. Uh, the, the teacher's manual that I've looked at, it just, it really makes it simple to teach this. So absolutely, I'd probably use these again in future years, even if I was going to teach it on my own and not use the distance learning program. The distance learning program saves my time though, and my kids are loving them for a lot of different subjects. And I just find that it gives them a little bit extra uh, reinforcement, more instruction, and it really makes it more exciting. I mean, English can be kind of dry and boring and you just do it to get it done. And I feel like the videos add a little bit more interest to it. But I absolutely think that these are a great option, even if you're gonna teach it on your own or try to have your student work through it on their own. So just wanted to, to say that. Now, am I going to have my seventh grader use it next year in eighth grade? No. Here's why. Again, I'm not loving um, the setup for 
junior high and high school. I, I'm just not loving it. Do I think it's a bad curriculum? No. But it's so heavy on grammar that I think it would be best used by uh, a junior high or high school student who is pretty good in writing but needs more work on grammar. Not necessarily in my case with my daughter who is pretty good with grammar but needs more writing and writing instruction. So because we have seventh, the seventh grade one um, and we haven't used it, I might have her uh, in eighth grade just do the grammar in here just to keep up with her grammar so I don't have to buy a whole new grammar curriculum for her. I mean, we have this one. So what, it says seventh grade on it and she's in eighth grade. I mean, hello, we're homeschoolers. I'm gonna use what we got. So I think I'll probably have her maybe use the grammar portion in here, but I think I'm gonna find a different writing curriculum for her that really gives her more writing instruction. Just, she needs more detail. This is exactly step-by-step step how you do it. With that said, I have heard, I do not know, but I have heard that the BJU uh, English curriculum, you know, in seventh and eighth grade through 12th grade, it slowly kind of switches and goes from heavy grammar, light writing, to more writing and less grammar by the time you get to 12th grade. I don't know for sure, I haven't used it, but that is what I have heard. Still, I don't know, again, I haven't used it, so I don't know um, if the writing actually gives detailed instructions on how to write or it just is having them write more papers and reports and essays and things like that. Um, you know, so, so am I making myself clear here? Okay, let me, let me try again. So I think my understanding is that as the BJU English, as, as they go from like ninth grade to 10th grade to 11th grade to 12th grade, so maybe eighth and ninth grade is gonna be really heavy grammar, little bit of writing. By the time they get to 12th grade, it should, I think it sounds like it flips and it's more writing and less grammar or maybe a little bit more equal amounts of writing and grammar. However, I don't know if the writing is, is just having them do more writing or if they're actually teaching the writing process and the steps to writing. So if you are interested in BJU Press English for, you know, you know, for the upper grades, junior high and high school, that is something that you probably want to research a little bit more in terms of, um, you know, how much writing and writing instruction is provided. With that said, again, I keep saying with that said, don't I? I keep thinking of more points that I want to make to you and give you the most information possible. Remember that seventh, eighth grade and I'm assuming 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th as well, but at least 7th and 8th grade, their English curriculum is one semester of writing and grammar, one semester of literature. We will probably use the literature for 8th grade next year because my daughter is loving it. She's loving the video instruction. I don't know if she'd love it if she was just watching, uh, I mean, if she's just doing this on her own, but she's loving the videos and the video instruction and she is learning a ton. So we will probably do one semester of BJU literature in 8th grade, but again, I still have to decide. I mean, I, I'm researching. I'm trying to figure things out about what we're gonna do next year. So, I like BJU Press English, especially up to sixth grade. Not, um, not finding that the seventh and eighth grade one is gonna be a good fit for us, but it might be a good fit for you. Uh, so just something to keep in mind. But I want to say, that BJU Press English curriculum, while I am loving it this year and I plan on using it next year for a lot of my kids, is not the only curriculum out there for English, you know, for writing and grammar that I like. I have loved all of the writing stuff from IEW, the Institute for Excellence in Writing, and I have loved uh, IEW's Fix It Grammar, and my kids have loved those. Why don't we continue using those? Two reasons. The biggest reason, 
the teacher intensive and I don't have that kind of time. It would be easier for me to teach English, BJU English on my own than IEW um, writing or fix it grammar. It would also, it, it's also obviously super easier for me to not even have to teach it using the distance learning program. The second reason is that I we've used IEW in the past, we've used Fix It Grammar, and I just feel like you now switching to BJU English for a few years or however long we end up using it is a great way to kind of fill in a few pieces, a few gaps that um, just didn't get filled when we were kind of piecing a whole bunch of different things together. So that's my thoughts. That's what I'm thinking about doing next year. I sure hope this was helpful. I feel like I was a little all over the place, so hopefully it made sense to you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I did wanna let you know that my next video coming out is going to be where I share with you what writing curriculum I'm considering for my daughter that's gonna be in eighth grade next year. So since we're not gonna use BJU Press Writing, what am I thinking about using? And so make sure to subscribe if you're interested in finding out about that because I'm gonna be sharing that in an upcoming video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye you guys.